we were off. That's how it affected him. We didn't fear death. We accepted that it could happen. What we did fear was being wounded or taken prisoner of war. Being burnt was the one thing. I saw so many of people burnt, and uh, in my squadron, uh, quite a few were burnt. It's never going to happen to you. That is what you live with. Because I think if you lived with anything else and you were thought, God, I'm frightened, I'm going to do this, you couldn't, you couldn't work it out. You couldn't live with it. It's never going to happen to you. But of course it did happen. It happened to the 600 fighter pilots who died in the battle, to the hundreds more who were wounded and burned, and to the lovers and wives, and to the families who lost their sons. What a waste of lives, money on time. You just go out there and drop bombs on a factory, killing people, for what? I can remember sitting in the bath and floods of tears for a great friend of mine had gone. And it still bothers me. Lots of good people and, of course, some very good friends. When, when they go, then it's, uh, it, it's obviously unnecessary. Uh, but there it is, nothing can do about it. At Duxford Aerodrome, it's time for Carolyn Grace to decide which of her pupils will go forward to advanced Spitfire training. John Sweet from the RAF or Dave Mallon from Manchester Flying Club. Yeah. Very difficult decision. There's nothing between them. They are both outstanding individuals. After the first flight with both of them, I decided to do a point system because it's the only objective way of actually coming up with a clear decision. Dave has a particularly obedient streak in him. He's very concerned about getting things exactly right. And I particularly like his way of questioning. And he will question until he is happy with the result. John has the edge on him with physical flying, but only a very small edge, only about a point. So my decision, and with clear six points in the lead out of 200 odd points, um, it is Dave. I think that Dave will be the one that will always bring the aeroplane back and always just come back, land and go into the squadron bar and say, oh, well done, chaps. Um, he's very much a squadron pilot, um, so that's what I feel. Yeah, I've, I've had three hours in the Spitfire now, and it was fantastic fun. Uh, I'll probably never experience anything like it again, but it was, uh, it was really worthwhile, just, uh, even just for the three hours. It was fantastic. I'm very pleased with myself. I'm going to have a few more hours on this lovely aircraft, which I've been really, really enjoying myself on. It's going to be excellent. I'm really looking forward to it. Next week, Dave Mallon flies the Spitfire into the front line and learns about command and control. Britain had the right planes and the right pilots, but to win the Battle of Britain needed something else, a system to put the men and machines into the right place at the right time.